Hello. We're here with a really interesting story. This is something that most of you don't know about. Miss Ariel McKay has been a benefit of this program. And what is the program you've been benefiting from? Uh, I recently just received a Doc Riley Aviation Scholarship um, from the air show back in last year um, in September. And it was truly a magnificent, magnificent show that was put on. Oh, it is. Every year it's, it's a great show. Now, with the Raleigh Aviation Scholarship Fund, the scholarship fund actually seeks out children or young adults that would like to be pilots. And when did you realize you wanted to be a pilot? Um, the first few years of my high school career had been tough. I didn't really know what to do, and with being a band kid, I was trying to figure out what I love, but at the same time trying to find something that would keep me financially stable. So one day, I began to look back on things that I loved in my childhood, and I realized that I loved planes. I really did. So I thought to myself, I wonder if I could fly one. So I took a trip up to Columbus, Indiana, and went to their municipal airport, took a... Um, what they call a discovery flight where you take um, a pilot takes you up for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour shows you the controls and once we departed I mean I knew it was what I wanted to do well now with you wanting to be a pilot obviously you don't want to just be a private pilot what are your what are your goals to be in what in aviation my goal is to be a commercial airline pilot that is awesome, Ariel. That And you're so young to be deciding that. How old are you now? I am 17. You're 17, but you decided this when you were probably 15 or yes, younger. Yes, 15. <laughs> this is just great. I, it's, it's nice to meet people at your age that know what they want to do and actually have a goal and a, and a plan. Because a lot of them don't have a plan. So that's... Yes, I consider myself very lucky. Yes, you are. Your parents are lucky, too. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys are lucky with this one. So, now... Next year, what will be your big accomplishment as of next spring? I will be receiving my private license. You will get enough hours between now and then to mm -hmm. be a private pilot. I think that's wonderful, Ariel. This is really great. Now, what would you tell other people that are thinking about, the other kids that are thinking about being a pilot? What would you suggest to them to do? Be sure to get a constructor that really connects with you. Um, you need. To, it is a very critical to receive a teacher who is willing to go beyond um, their advantage to help you learn. So you need to you need to get along with that person because you've got to yes. trust them in the air. Mm -hmm. and that's a big thing I think is being able to trust your instructor when you're in the air. Mm -hmm. So it, if they don't like the first one, they need to go on and check out another one. Yes. So, and then, how young would you suggest they? You know, if they really want to learn to fly, how young should they actually try to go? At least by the age of 16, you should consider um, going up for flying. And it takes a while to get your pilot's license, doesn't it? It does. You need to have a total of 40 hours, 10 of which are solo, before you can receive your license. And then you have to go on and get the commercial. That's, yes. That's your next step. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is just wonderful, Ariel. Well, they're having the air show again this year, obviously, at the Madison Municipal Airport, and the Riley Aviation Scholarship Fund continues to give away scholarships to young people. So, um, what would you suggest to people that want to look at Riley Aviation? Is that has that been beneficial to you through all this? It has been beneficial, and I do suggest applying for it if you are considering about being a pilot. Well, that is well. I wish you the best of luck, and this is just great. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And as we said, if you want to be a pilot, if you think that might be your passion in life, check out the Raleigh Aviation Scholarship Fund and, and go to the airport, out to the Madison Municipal Airport or to, to Bowman Field. Go to your local airport and see if there's an instructor there that might take a few minutes with you and take you up and see if that's really what you want to do because once you get up in the air, it might not be what you want to do. And then again, you may decide you just love it. So. Yes. This is great. Well, as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>